Hello and welcome back to my channel. Now if you haven't already guessed by the title of this video then this is a bit of a empties slash final thoughts of kind of beauty products really that I've been using. Um, literally anything from toothpaste all the way up to you know designer high-end moisturisers. Whenever I've got a bag of empties I've decided I'm just going to film one of these videos as I feel that the final thoughts and opinions are so much more important than like what kind of people thought when they first bought them. This is like one of the only issues that I have with YouTube is that when like big YouTubers do their monthly favourites and they really liked say a moisturiser that yes okay it may have done you know well for maybe the week or so that they've been using it. I feel like the final verdict of a product is so much more important. If someone says to you that they would go out and rebuy this or they've got a particular same skin as you and they really liked this, then I feel that that is so much more useful than someone who's used it for a week, especially when like your skin hasn't always had a chance to kind of get used to something as well after a week or so. So whenever I do anything that's empty this year, especially as I'm trying to get rid of as much as I can because I'm trying to save money, so I'd rather use the products that I own, I thought, you know what, when I've finished them up, I'm just going to tell you guys what I thought and then at least then you'll know whether or not they're any good and if you, you know, did have interest in any of them, then you could always go out and buy them. So the first thing that I'm going to show you is something very, very simple and it's just a deodorant. This is the Shua Motion Sense Cotton Dry. Um, now, I'm someone who... Although deodorants, I don't, I'm not a smelly person and I don't have like, you know, a sweat issue, but I am one of them people who I'm always adamant that I can smell myself. People can't smell me, I ask people and they say that they can't smell anything, but I'm always adamant that I smell and I always need a really, really good deodorant. I feel that like I need one and Shua is probably the... Probably my second choice. My first choice is normally Mitchum, but it's normally dead expensive and I can't afford that. Shua is often on sale. I do prefer the one for sensitive skin, but this is just the standard cotton dry one. Um, I don't really know what the whole motion sense is. That doesn't, you know, I don't really feel that that does anything. That's just more of a con. Um, but if you do need a decent um, deodorant and you don't want to spend a lot of money, would definitely recommend Shua. The next thing that I finished using this month is the VO5 Ultimate Hold Hairspray. This is just a really small kind of travel size one. I don't use hairspray very often, purely just because my hair is very, very long and very, very heavy. So 95% of the time I actually have it up in a ponytail. So I don't really need hairspray. I only really use this if I'm going out somewhere. So I think I actually bought this for Slam Dunk Festival a few years ago. Um, and that's how long this has lasted me because I really don't use hairspray like ever. Um, but no complaints, would quite happily repurchase this. I don't think it was a lot of money, but honestly, for most hairsprays, if it's like a branded one, I'll just get whatever's on sale because I know that I'm not going to be using it constantly. So I'm a bit like give or take with hairsprays. I'm not too fussy. As long as it doesn't make my hair look greasy or I like them to do the job. As long as it kind of holds something in place, then yeah, I would definitely go out and rebuy that one. The next two things that I finished using are actually scrubs, like body scrubs. The first one is a body shop one and the second one is a lush one. Both amazing in terms of no animal testing, both smell incredible. The body shop one I feel is a little bit lighter than this one, um, mainly because this is, actually I don't even know what it is in this one, um, but this is sea salt basically so it's very very coarse. Um, yeah, it definitely does the job if you'd want a good a good scrub, uh, but it is also quite an expensive scrub, so again, don't want to use it all the time. The one good thing about these pots is, as well, if I do actually keep five of these, then I can actually take it back and get a hair mask, and I do really, really like this. It smells very, well, it's sea salt, so it smells a bit like the sea, and it just smells very, very fresh and very, very nice. It smells very clean and grown up and I think that's probably why I do prefer this one because I like a grown up scent these days, like you know, I'll be 27 this year, I feel like I need to grow up with a lot of my scents, whereas this one is just very very fruity, don't get me wrong, we'll always, always shop at the body shop, I've shopped there, well my mum shopped there when I was little so, you remember like the little bath pearls, like we always used to buy them and we'd get like a little selection of bath pearls to have. These, just the body shop in general is just a staple of mine and this is the mango one and it smells 
it still smells so good and I've washed this pot out like numerous times and oh, yeah both amazing scrubs definitely we buy both of them these I I'm more likely to get in like a gift set at Christmas rather than me to go out and physically buy the, one of these I like getting them as gifts it is just a little gift size one anyway this would definitely go out and buy again with my own money like tomorrow the next thing is a nail polish remover. This is the Twist and Out Instant Nail Polish Remover. And you get these from the pound shop. I got it in my stocking for Christmas because, well, that's just kind of, this is like a perfect stocking filler. And this is a product that is a bit of a rip-off of one that, um, like Rimmel or Maybelline or someone like that did one. I can't remember who the original, oh, is it Bourgeois? It might be Bourgeois. Um, there was an original player who did this and everyone went absolutely crazy over it. It was like the biggest novelty and everyone thought they were amazing. But honestly, they just do nothing for me at all. I feel like they're good for maybe one or two uses and then they kind of just like, you know, they stain, like that's how mine currently looks. So that's very clearly like a bluey green nail polish. And I don't feel very confident then putting my current nails in that, like over the top of old polish. It just feels a bit weird. Like it is a little bit weird anyway, sticking your finger in there, don't get me wrong. It's a little bit odd. Um, very easy, don't get me wrong. It doesn't get all the nail polish off. It gets probably like the first layer off, which is obviously like, good to like kind of make it a bit easier but I still feel like you have to go back over with a pad anyway so you might as well just use the pads in the first place. I wouldn't rebuy it but at the same time it is only a pound so if I was desperately in need of something like this then yes I would spend a pound on it but it won't be my nail varnish remover of choice when I next need to buy another one. Two things that I've got are the same thing but they are different brands and they are the bath tea bags. If you watched my what I got for Christmas video, which will be in one of these corners up here, you will see that I got two sets of bath tea bags. They were a big novelty product towards the end of 2017. Um, I really, really like them, to be honest with you. This first one is by a company called Bubble Tea, I believe. Um, this is their like little logo. And the smell of this one was Akai Berry? Akai Berry? I think you say it, and hibiscus, and I thought these are incredible. They're almost like little crystals when they come in the packet, um, and also it feels a little bit more secure in the sense that it's like really, really tied up at the top. The crystals don't come out or anything like that. You just leave it in the bath, and it just makes the water smell nice. I don't really feel like it did much to me, per se, um, but I don't think it, it's meant to, really. It is literally just a bit of a novelty, just to make your bath a little bit nicer. There's no bubbles, but it does just kind of give a nice little scent to it, so would very, very much recommend. And also, they come in a really nice, like, resealable bag, which is just one of them little aesthetically pleasing type things for the bathroom, um, but would definitely recommend the bubble tea ones. The next ones that I actually got were the Zoella ones that she did. Um, they were part of the Christmas range and I believe they were Peony and something else. I can't remember what the other thing was. Um, these came in more of like a rectangular bag um, and inside was just more of a powder rather than like bath crystals. Um, and I like the tag, I like the little Z on the tag, that's quite cute. Um, but for these, the bath smelt incredible. I actually mix them with the splash of milk powder that she does. Um, and again, thought it was amazing. My bath was like really, it almost felt like it had like lotion in it. It was very, very soft, really delicate. Um, my skin felt amazing in the bath. However, when I got out of the bath, my skin went so dry and I googled it to see if anyone else had ever had that problem and it turns out I couldn't find it anywhere. So I'm guessing it's just me that does not get on well with this as well range but my skin was just so dry when I got out that like literally I was just like layering on moisturiser because I felt horrible after I'd had this mixed with the splash of milk. I feel it may have been more the splash of milk that did it to me but I'm not 100% so I'm just going to say that it was like the whole range. So sadly the Zoella range of these did not agree with my skin and I now actually have quite a few of them left and I don't particularly want to use them so I will probably just pass them on to family and friends now. This thing is a face, uh, a face cleanser. I really love a good skincare routine. Very very much into cleansers, toners, moisturisers, 
good face washes. Um, I do love when I have a uh, micellar or micellar water on the go because that is the easiest skin routine I think I've ever had. But at the moment, I'm trying to actually use a lot of my cleansers and proper face washes. And this last couple of months, I think it's lasted me, I have made my way through the Soap and Glory Peaches and Clean 3-in-1 Wash Off Deep Purifying Cleanser. They have a lot of wording on their, uh, on their products. This is a peach, obviously, because it's peaches and clean, um, like a very strong peach smelling face wash. I use this every morning and night. It hasn't done wonders, but it definitely like hasn't made my face um, break out. It's, you know, I have quite a few of these because I always get them in gift sets, so I will always reuse these. Um, it looks a little bit like that, although I feel that the packaging may have changed in recent times um, because this was just literally in my um, like bathroom cupboard. But very much a big fan of this. It's very easy to use as well. Like It's got the little pump, so you literally just put it on your hand, put it on your face, wash it off, wipe your face, you're good to go. It doesn't, you know, it's not like there's like a whole routine for it or anything like that. So would very much recommend this and I will be without a doubt using this product again. The last thing that I've got is my high-end um, product. Again, if you watched my What I Got For Christmas video, you will know that I got a new one of these. So I'm currently on the go with another one. Um, but this is my last pot and this was my actual first pot of it. And I adore this stuff. This is the Origins Ginseng Energy Boosting Moisturiser. And I can't, I, I have literally scraped this to death. Like there isn't a tiny, like minuscule bit left in this because I have used it for every ounce that there's in there. Um, and this is a very, very expensive moisturiser. I'm pretty certain it's like anywhere between like 28 to 30 something pounds, I think. Um, I always get it for Christmas because purely because it's really expensive and I ask for it as a present. Um, but it smells amazing, it smells, it smells like oranges, kind of very citrusy, um, it's the best moisturiser I have ever used without a shadow of a doubt. I recommend this to anyone who always asks for a good face moisturiser, especially if you have dry skin. It literally, and I know this sounds really cliche, but it literally feels like you are giving your skin a drink. Like, if you have dry skin, it will take as much as it needs to fulfill it basically and you don't need very much either like you just need a little bit and it will go a long way it leaves my skin feeling really light there's definitely no like moisturizer feel on it afterwards because i really like to use this on the days where i am wearing makeup so as a rule because it doesn't have i don't think it does anyway so because it doesn't actually have anything that like any SPF or anything like that listed on it, I would rather use this on days where I'm wearing makeup that has it in, and days where I'm not wearing makeup, I actually use moisturizers and um, a little bit of sun cream on my face anyway. But I like to wear this when I know that my skin is gonna take quite a hit in the sense of I'm clogging it with makeup, and this just, oh, yeah. Could not speak highly of this. So that is it. That is everything in my first empties haul. I hope you guys liked it. I hope I helped somebody out along the lines. If you like this, please give it a thumbs up or just let me know. I do put out videos every single week. They've always got a little bit different content. So some things you might like, some things you won't. Um, but hopefully you will like it all. I kind of hope you do. But if you did like this, I will be bringing you another one as soon as I've got another little collection available. So please subscribe if you do like these kinds of videos. Um, and again, let me know in the comments if you did, because then I know that people are actually interested in this kind of stuff. But until next week, I will see you guys later.